Podia Review 2020, let's go. I wanna start off by talking about price because that's what a lot of us care about. Podia has monthly plans at $39 a month and $79 a month. I wanna compare this to Teachable, Thinkific, and Kajabi. Teachable also has a $39 dollar a month plan, but their, their, their next tier up uh, jumps all the way up to 99. Thinkific is 49 and 99. And Kajabi is just way too dadgum expensive. It is. And we're going to talk about free plans in just a second. So I have created over 50 online courses over the past couple of years. Yes, I know what you're saying. That is entirely too many. And you're correct. And I have used Lifter LMS, LearnDash, those are actually two WordPress plugins to host online courses and stuff on your own site. I've also used Teachable for over a year. I've also used Thinkific for over a year. I've never used Kajabi because it is just too dadgum expensive. And now, as of three months ago, I'm on Podia and couldn't be happier. So I wanna spend the rest of this video just walking through why that is, why I'm on Podia now and I love it, as well as why I think most creators should probably lean towards Podia in 2020. Also, I need to get new glasses. Can you see this glare from this light? It's ridiculous. YouTubers always get the anti-glare lens, I'm telling you. So let's talk about features. Features in common, pretty much all of these platforms, Teachable, Podia, Thinkific, everybody, they have tools to create and sell online courses, and they all work really well. They all kind of can deliver digital downloads, although Podia kind of makes that more of a focus. You can also bundle courses. You can also set up membership sites, which is really just charging people a recurring fee for access to content. All of these platforms can actually set that up in some way. They also have stuff like landing page and sales page builders, where you can kind of lay out your sales page right there on their site as well as some basic email marketing tools. Although Podia is getting way better at their email marketing stack, and we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second too. However, differences and features is what I wanna talk about. Free plans. Thinkific has a free plan, Teachable has a free plan. And Kajabi doesn't have a free plan because they are just too daggum expensive. So Teachable's free plan, it has most of the features there. The problem is they charge you an arm and a leg in fees. Not credit card processing fees. All platforms, including Podia, are gonna charge you like two, 3% in credit card processing fees. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an extra fee that Teachable charges you, 10% plus $1 for all you sell on your free plan. And even the $39 a month plan has a 5% transaction fee. Not processing fees. If you add that up, that equals 7.9% of all your sales plus an additional 30 cents per sale on the $39 a month plan. Podia doesn't have that. Thinkific is way better on the fees. Don't get me wrong. They don't have any fees on all, any of their plans, which is awesome. Kudos to you, Thinkific. However, the free plan is severely limited. You only get three courses, which if you're like me is a problem. If you're not like me, then it's not a problem. Unlimited students is great. Quizzes, you get that stuff, but you don't get custom domains, email integration, Zapier triggers, which was actually a deal killer for me personally, uh, and, and some other limitations there as well. Namely, the manual student enrollments and exports. It's silly. You may not think you need this, but in running a course over the course of months and years, you are gonna miss that tool if you are on a free plan. FYI, if you're looking for me to go more in depth on a tutorial for Podia and all these features, you can watch this other video right here. One of the reasons I switched from Teachable is I did not enjoy their end user experience. Not necessarily what the course creator feels, but what their students feel. For one thing, the course player it never looked good, in my opinion. <laughs> it never looked good, and it's just like a little clunky. And when you go to log into stuff, it is super hard to switch schools. And what I mean by that is this. I'm gonna click login on <laughs> Teachable. I have no idea where it's gonna bring me. I have paid for six or seven different creators' courses, and as you can see right here, I just clicked login, and it took me to FinCon University. But let's say I'm trying to get to my friend Monica Louie's courses. How do I do that? I don't remember the URL. How do I do that? It should be like, oh, there's my teachable, right? That's kind of what they've been doing, building my teachable. Well, there's no way to get there. You can click around here, manage subscriptions, maybe that's it. No, it is actually super difficult to find your way back to find all of the different courses and schools from different creators that you've purchased if you don't like actually have the URL. Podio doesn't do any of that stuff. They just have it 
only via the URL. There's no my Podia, which I love. Okay, so I eventually logged out and logged back in and I was able to make it work, which is super annoying for an end user, by the way. One thing I didn't like about this, there's like two levels of menus, like this menu and like this menu. This creation experience was always ugly and clunky in my opinion. Same thing with Thinkific. I, I just found the course creation process, it was better than Teachable in my opinion, but it was still just like a little bit clunky. And I'll also say that I have had a really difficult time trying to get like these images to look good as thumbnails, especially on the end users site where people see the courses they bought. Things will just get blurry and the proportions will be kind of like out of whack and I can't, it'll look fine on my screen, but not on theirs. It's been like a little weird. And another thing that annoys me about Thinkific is they have video lessons and they have text lessons, but they don't allow a video with like text right underneath it. The only way to do that is to come in here through a text lesson and then add a video up top and then start typing something, but that makes it look a little bit wonky. And if, especially if you're hosting your videos on like Vimeo, which I was, trying to embed them in here required a bunch of extra steps. It was annoying. So that actually leads me to why Podia? Why have I switched to Podia and why do I actually like it? The first piece of online course software or digital download software for the most part that I actually really enjoy and I think it's really well done. Number one, ease of use. It's incredibly simple to get things up and running and selling. Two, it looks great. It's more of a clean and minimal approach, which just happens to be my style and I think actually helps with engagement for all users, whether you agree with me or not. It looks fantastic, including the sales pages. The sales pages are more customizable than Teachables and they just look way better. They also have some cool new features like I'll show you in just a second, actually. And then number four, the future of the platform looks way more promising and way better than any of those others. So I mentioned just a second ago about Thinkific and it being hard to put like a video and just like with text underneath. It's, it's crazy hard. Uh, this is like the, the ease of use thing that I'm talking about. New product on uh, Podia, online course, digital download, product bundle, online course, sample course. I'm just gonna hit like create and continue. All the settings are really clearly laid out. They aren't found anywhere else, that's it. You can add your content, you can add different sections, files, let's add a section, test, test. By the way, adding text is like really well done here. It's just like, I wanna bold something, I hit command B, this is bold. Command I for italics, you can add links in here. Images, no problemo, <laughs> let's grab an image right here. Drop it in there and oh wait, there you go, boom, save. Adding content, same thing. Quizzes, you can add a link, text, add files. This makes it like just a very generic thing. Just drag and drop. Here's a little video right here. I'm gonna drag and drop on there. My internet speed is over here like, no you ain't. I can come back here, just click on this file that I uploaded. It can be any sort of file, PDF or video or otherwise. You can edit the title right here. I wanna delete .mp4 mp4 enter and in description this is text that'll appear like right underneath it again you want to like add an image in there okay good just drop it around cool not a big deal add more text down here whatever custom thumbnails done hit enter save changes done zo pretty cool it's super easy <laughs> and by the way it saves automatically you see the little green oh it went away it saves all your content, all your changes for your settings automatically. It's really straightforward. Everything is super simple, easy to use. That's one of the big reasons I love Podia so far. And then another thing is it just looks great. It looks so good in my opinion. Preview product page, preview sales page. You can also edit the sales page from here. Preview product page, see what that looks like right here. I just love the way these are laid out. Everything, you can choose your fonts, by the way. You can see this is all my custom colors and they have that on the cheapest plan as well. You can do even more customizations on the $79 a month, but I don't need any of that. I, I don't really care. I think this looks great. Everything just looks good. Here's a download. It looks great. Download file, a big button right there. Videos with text underneath. No problemo. There's the video. Here's text underneath, right? Everything is easy to use and it looks great. And I can't say that about the other platforms I've used. So you might think this is a wee bit silly and you'd probably be right. But another reason I'm sticking with Podia for now is what I see them doing in the future. I don't know if you've been around blogging for a while. You probably remember when ConvertKit, I can remember the name, ConvertKit first came out, everybody was just 
blown away. Wow, this is so much easier to figure out than MailChimp. I can just create forms and put them anywhere? Unlimited forms? How does that even work? You can only do one form on MailChimp back in the day. Podia is the ConvertKit software for online courses, selling digital products from your own site or on a separate site. They are making things simple. I would argue relatively new creators in mind, although I'm not a relatively new creator and I love it. And they're just like trying to simplify and give the tools that are needed and necessary and make them work and look great while also being customizable. And I just don't get that from Teachable and Thinkific. And by the way, I had Matt, who works at Podia, on my podcast, and this is more or less what he told me. He was like, we're trying to be kind of like an all-in-one platform, like Kajabi, although Kajabi is just way too daggum expensive. They're trying to be an all-in-one platform where you can handle email marketing, memberships, product bundles, courses, digital downloads, and all that jazz, and sell them from their site, your own custom domain if you want, or just on your regular blog, like embed forms and buy buttons and stuff like that on your blog as well. So again, if you want like a little short tutorial series on all of Podia's features, you can watch this video right here, as well as this other video with Melody from thecourseconsultant.com. We talk about how to create online courses that are going to sell, <laughs> right? Walk through that process. I hope you guys subscribe to this channel if you enjoy it. Thank you for watching, Blog Tribe members. Adios.